Hi, I'm Colin. Welcome to Learn Somatics. Today I want to show you a movement to improve comfort of the hips, legs, ankles and feet. This one's called Invert Evert. Great if you're an avid walker or runner. Give it a try and let me know how you get on. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. So let's get into Invert Evert. For this movement you're going to start as I am here laying out on your back. And we're going to start with the left leg on this because it's closest to the camera, you can see what's happening. Um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna let your leg um, turn out a little bit, so the knee is gonna turn out a little, and just start to slide your heel up your, towards your bum, basically, a little bit. And if you have your hands on your hips like so, you'll start to feel how this side of your hip starts to lift up. And then slide your leg back down, and relax. Let's just stick with this for the minute. So you're just turning the knee out, letting the foot slide up, letting the hips turn over a little bit. So the hips are going to turn to the left and the whole left side is going to lift up a little, or sorry, the right side is going to lift up a little bit. And then slowly let the leg come back down. Sliding the leg up, feeling the hips turn over, sliding the leg back down. Now, let's do that again. Let's come up and the more we allow our hips to turn to the left, suddenly it comes easy to actually lift the foot up off the floor and then come down and then slowly relax back out turn the leg out slide the heel up to the bum turn the hips over we can lift the foot and there's this nice rotation of the trunk happening and rotation of the hips and then slowly coming back down so let's just add one more thing hips turn over lift the foot up let your head turn to the right so you're going to turn your foot to the same direction your sole your foot is pointing and then come back okay and you can keep your hands here so you can feel that nice rotation in the trunk or sorry in the hips and the trunk that allows you to do the movement of the leg you can't really do this movement of the leg very well unless you let the trunk help you by the hip turning over and that rotation down through the spine and the head looking to the right so you get a nice twisting action all the way from the neck, down the spine, through the hips, into the leg. Okay. And we'll just do that one more time. And then relax. Now if you find the lifting of the foot difficult when you slide up, don't worry about it. You can just go to here. Just slide up and let your hips turn over a bit and come back down. Still a nice movement, still very useful. So you can just do this if it feels like it's too, it's not quite happening for you when you lift the foot. Just slide up and back down. Okay, so that's inversion. We've inverted the foot. Now we're going to evert the foot. So this time we're going to turn the knee in a little bit and slide her up. Now you'll notice the hips go the opposite way. They start rolling to the right and let it slide back down. Turn the knee in. Now you'll notice as you turn the knee in, it the toes point your other leg and then again we're just going to slide it up and let our hips turn over and you'll see the head is starting to point to the left okay and again turn the knee in slide the foot up head looks in the same direction as the sole of the foot again and come back down okay so can we lift the foot on this side so if we let the hip turn over it becomes pretty easy to lift the foot or easier so it's the same thing, we're just going the opposite direction. Hips turn over, we're getting that nice twist on the opposite direction through our uh, neck, spine, hips, and through the leg. Slide it up, hips turn over. Very good. It's a nice spiraling action down through the whole body. Okay, let's just do one more. Let the hips turn over. The more we let this happen, the more we can evert the foot. Right? It's a bit like looking at the sole of your shoe, see if you've got gum on your shoe, or something like that. Sliding up, the hips turn over, that makes it easier to lift the foot, slide back down. One more time, slide it up, and we look to the left, and then slowly come back down. Okay, so we've done inversion, we've done eversion. Just 
take a moment to see how that feels. And it should be starting to feel quite a bit different through your left hip and leg. Yeah, well, bring yourself back to the middle. Yeah, so I'm starting to feel, I feel quite a bit different through the back of my hip there now in, in my buttocks. And then, okay, so we've done inversion a few times, we've done eversion a few times. Let's go back and forth between inversion and eversion. We'll just do this like three times. So I'm gonna start sliding the foot up, letting the knee go out, head turns to the right, hips turn over, we can lift the foot. And from here, just slowly relax back to start position. And then we're gonna go the other way. If uh, foot slides up, knee goes in, turn the hips over the other way, look to the left, and then come down. So we're just going back and forth. Two movements, hips turn to the left as we invert, slowly back to middle. Hips go to the right as we evert, slowly back to middle. And the face always goes to the direction the sole of the foot is going. Come back down, turn it over, the other way, and then slowly back to rest. And again, just check in. Going back and forth like that creates a slightly different feeling again. It just gets a further release. And, and now you'll, you'll get a sense of almost one side being longer than the other. This left side is now starting to feel quite long and it's making the right side then in con by contrast feel quite short. So if you, sit, if you have those kind of uh, perceptions, if that's how it feels like, that's, that's totally normal. That's what happens when we do something on one side quite deliberately and then uh, take a moment to check how that feels compared to the other side. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this on the other side. So again, we're gonna go to inversion first. So we're gonna let the knee just tip out. And we're just gonna slide our heel up towards our bum a little bit and let our hip pick up. And nice and easy, come down. So again, we're gonna start nice and carefully because usually one side you'll have a bit better control over the other. It's just generally what happens. And then let the hip turn over and then we can slide back to start. Turn it in, let the hip turn over. And now let's just pick up the foot a little bit, letting the hip turn over more, letting the head turn to the left. And then slowly release back down. Just do a couple of repetitions, get a feel, see if we can coordinate this equally well on this side. Again, if you want to have your hands on your hips to sort of feel how that hip turning over and the rotation through the trunk helps the movement. Okay, one more time, slide the foot up, hip, turn the hips over, head to the left and we can lift the foot. Nice movement, nice spiral action. Okay, let's go the opposite way. We're gonna turn the leg in a little bit, slide it up the outside. Again, the hips turn over, right? So if you let, if you help the hips turn over, it's gonna make this easier. Slide it out, hips turn over. Good, leg turns in, slide the heel up the outside towards the bum, hips turn over to the left. And then once we've got a feel for that, we can start to lift the foot because we're turning over our hip, it makes it easier. And we're gonna to look to the right. And then come down. And let's just do that two or three times. Let the hip come back to the ground, leg can slide down. Turn the hips over so we can lift the foot, come back down, and turn the leg in, slide the hip, uh, slide the heel up, let the hips turn over, then we can lift the foot, head goes to the right, and then we can relax. Okay. And now that's starting to feel quite even on both, uh, both sides, hips, legs, and trunk. All right, so let's just do a couple of repetitions going invert, evert on the right-hand side. I'm gonna slide it up, let the hips turn over, lift the foot, head goes left. And back to rest. And out the other side, slide the heel up the outside, hips turn over in the opposite direction, head turns right, then we can lift the foot. 
I'm back now. Invert again, let the leg turn out, slide the heel up toward the bum, hips turn over, lift the foot, head goes left, and slowly relax back down to flat. Turn the leg in, slide the heel up the outside, hips turn over to the left, lift the foot, head goes right. And back to rest. And I'll just do that one more time. Feeling that nice spiral all the way up the body, from the ankle, all the way up to the neck. And then we go the other side. And then slowly down. Okay. And you can lay out flat and check in with that. Feels nice and even now through my hips and legs. And even all the way up into my uh, middle and upper back. So that's invert evert. Really helps to integrate the functions, actions of the leg and ankles and knees up with the trunk. And great for running or walking or hiking or anything like that. Make your legs feel much more comfortable. Give it a try and let me know how you get on.